Mr. Sam. Mr. Danesh. How are you doing today? I'm very good. All right, so I got you this car. Now this car is something that I did not like when I first sat in it. Okay. And now I cannot stop recommending it. All right. Interesting. So this is the Geely Cool Ray. Cool Ray. <laughs> like Cool Whip. Cool Whip. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's not something a South Asian tongue can do easily. Uh, but for those of you who don't understand, here we go. Ooh, let me have some of that Cool Whip. What'd you say? You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. You mean Cool Whip? Yeah, Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. All right, so with that out of the way, um, this is a sporty little city car. Okay. Yep. Uh, it's a small car. It costs just 79,000. And. 79,000? And as we go along in this little drive, mm -hmm. this little review for you guys, I will tell you why I have fallen in love with this car. Okay. All right. Um, so let's start with the exterior. All right, so if you could just go up ahead and just park, then let's get out of the car, do the exterior, show everyone what the car has. Um, so yeah, let's go. All right, so that is the Cool Ray. Sam, say it again. Cool Ray. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. LED DRL, daytime running lights. Okay. LED headline. Okay. A interesting front grill. Maybe okay. you remember from a <laughs> Pole Star, <laughs> Star video. Okay. Uh, carbon fiber front lip accents which look pretty cool. Okay. And then if you head on to the side, you've got 18 inch black alloy wheels. Right. And carbon fiber accents on the mirrors. Right, with very cool. Turn signals. Yeah, very cool. You've also got the uh, camera for the 360. Right. And then heading on down to the side, you've got some more interesting accents. Very here. cool, very cool. This stuff like, is really I nice. Think the body line is really, really right? It's not just flat and smooth, yeah. it's, it it's, it's, really it's got it all over the car and that's really, really nice. And then we come to this lovely spoiler. Which has also got some full carbon fiber feet. Right, okay. As well. We've got the LED nice tail light. Geely logo here. Yeah. We've and got this infinity cool ray. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, and again on the bottom, you've got carbon fiber accents. It looks like a rear diffuser right. with your uh, orange accent pieces here. Right. Parking sensors and twin exhaust. Real? Uh, yes, they are real. Real. That's if awesome. Matt watch it, if Matt Watson ever watches our video, we can do the, the stick test. He, he I don't know. I don't know what that is. From Car Wow. We love Oh, watching. yeah. Hell yeah. We love Car Wow. But, uh, but yeah, on the overall, listen, a really nice little city car. It looks so good. Very I, cool. I Very really, cool. really like it. I mean, um, this color isn't everyone's taste. I would say so. I think it's a, it's a nice color. I like I like the color, but not with the orange accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but this car, you have to see it in black. Looks, That's what you have to see. It looks beautiful in black. But it's already got that two tone theme going yeah. on. You've got blue at the bottom, black on the top. Tint the windows. It will look. That's mm, true. That's money, true. Money. Tint tint would make a big difference. Yeah. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. Let's jump back inside. All right, so that was the exterior of the car. Mm -hmm. Now, before we go any further, um, we have a small little channel. We've been growing so nicely thanks to you guys, and we would love if that continues. So if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and obviously comment through the video and let us know your thoughts. All right, so moving to the car, the drive itself. Mm -hmm. This is a 1.5 liter turbo engine. All right. We've got a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Nice, right? snappy. Snappy. Uh, we've got 172 brake horsepower mm -hmm. and we've got 290 Newton meters of torque. Pretty impressive now, the torque. On the overall, I, I've enjoyed driving this car. It's okay. been smooth, it's been stable. Um, uh, city driving has been great up and down work, going to pick up my wife, all that stuff has been great. Mm -hmm. What I cannot understand, maybe you could explain this to me and maybe try it out yourself in a second when we hit that signal. Mm -hmm is it has an unbelievable lag at the point of acceleration. Okay. So when you're going from first gear upwards, 
Okay. It just, it takes forever. And I've tried all the modes. I found the eco mode, which by the way is hidden in there somewhere for, for a strange reason. I found, I looked for everything. I... It's right here, guys. No, no, no. I promise there's another eco in there as well. Oh, there's a double eco. There's a double eco. But I could not understand why the acceleration is such. Do you know why it could be like that? Uh, most likely it's a throttle pedal calibration thing. Okay. Uh, it's good for fuel economy to not have it. Right. You know? I guess that's why the badge over there says 17.8 uh, uh, kilometers to the liter, which is in, in the top range in its, ca in its category. So I guess that's why that exists. Um, but apart from that, the overall drive has been great. Okay. Uh, you've driven it for a little while now. It seems smooth, nimble. Uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't a big fan of this ultra light steering wheel. What do you think about it? For me, honestly, it's light. You okay. want something that's easy to get around light it doesn't have particularly that much feedback right. to it but it's fine fair enough i would have liked it to be a little more with feel so okay. like for example if you're taking a light cut on the road i feel like you have to turn it a bit more than necessary mm. or then let's say what i'm used to and again this is very very subjective so let us know in the comments what you guys like your steering wheel to be like but uh, but yeah that's kind of what i i did not like about it again not saying that it's not drivable or anything just a very personal yeah, choice light. It is very, very light. Um, all right, moving forward to the interior of the car, mm -hmm. right? Now, continuing on with that very steering wheel, I have fallen in love with this steering wheel. Now, listen, um, for, for you know me, but like for those of you who don't, I'm not a, what you would call a car enthusiast. I enjoy them. And when Sam gives me inane details about cars, I, I love to learn them, but I don't really care. That steering wheel, I fall in love with it. Yeah, great very nice. quality, very nice feel, great buttons, firm honk. I, I, I love it. Now you tell me, is this something rare? For me, it looks pleasant. Like I say, it's obviously got the perforation, which is nice. Right. The thumb position. Right. So it feels, you know, sporty yeah, with the whole yeah. interior. Uh, not dense. In, 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 in dense. In dense. In dense. I don't know why it's in growths. But okay. And then uh, button wise as well, none of this capacitive touch, Excellent. haptic feedback. Sit straight up. Buttons. buttons. Just soft right. touch buttons. I loved it. Now that carries forward mm. into these buttons over here. Yeah. And I, after our last discussion, I'm going to start giving uh, brands points for this now. So a smashing 10 points to Geely for a very well positioned um, hazard light button. Very well positioned for the driver. The first time I had to click it, I instantaneously knew where it was. Yeah. So, um, but that, the button and the touch feel, so like you try it out yourself, but like the buttons are excellent. They, yeah. they feel nice so feedback. good, so good. Um, they, they, they don't have that unnecessary clickiness, but like initially when I saw them, I was like, ew, hard plastic, they'll be shit. Mm. But they won't, they, they, they're so good. And that again carries forward onto the dash. So this fellow is the surprising one. And I don't know what the official material is, but it's not Alcantara for sure. No, it looks like the bold Alcantara that we had in the Polestar. Polestar, right, right. But it's not, it's gonna have got a rubbery texture to it. Okay. So not not too sure, but it looks it looks nice. It looks yeah, sport. It looks excellent. So for people who would like to get this car to get that feel of um, uh, of a sports car the way you know others have, they that it definitely achieves, and that I I like I I give them credit for. Mm. All right, so then we come to this part. So we've got a wireless charger. We've got two USB A ports, unfortunately. So we get one advanced piece of technology and one old piece of technology. No Android Auto, no Apple CarPlay. Very strange in oh, today's okay. day and age. Um, and then we come to this gear, gear lever, mm -hmm. which I initially didn't like, but then as time went on, I got adjusted to it. Okay. And then you said it's called something? What is this called? Oh, it's to me, like from a gamer's perspective, okay. it's got a claw grip style because it's very small but fair yeah. but to be honest i can see that that could be absolutely true considering the way this car is designed. it has battle written here 
Why? Gaming. <laughs> yeah, like it's got that like, you know, this is this is some old guy <laughs> sat in a meeting and said, I want those young gamers who sit in a room. I want those guys to buy this car. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, and then this lovely cup holder that has these customizable little things and it's got so it's got three customizable whatever these whatever you want to want to call these partitions 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 or separators and then it's got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten positions so, so you can just you can just do it to your liking and then it just kind of continues down into the extra storage box storage cubby box. hole cubby hole um and it just continues in armrest that was the word i couldn't remember um so yeah it just continues on in there so that's also very nice mm -hmm. but on the overall very 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 nice dash um considering the price of this car i do not think this is a bad dash to have no i think and everything like you we, we touch and yeah. feel there's no creaks like yeah, no... okay wait silence everyone I'm pressing this really hard. The, the other thing the car is loaded with mm -hmm. is an amazing amount of technological advancement. So we've got lane keeping assist. We've got, um, uh, what is it? Blind spot detection. detection. <laughs> and uh, we've got uh, adaptive cruise control. We've got uh, blind spot monitoring. The whole speed thing, limit speed alert. limit alerts, uh, all that. And they love their acronyms, as you can see on this display. They love it. But the coolest thing at a car of this level is that it parks itself. What? Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's check that out. So this is just to give an idea of how good this is. It is such an accurate representation of the area that we're in. It does mess up when cars are close by, but it is just such a good rep uh, representation of the area we're in, right? So like the cobblestone details, sorry, interlock details. I mean, it's it's so nice. So we've activated the parking thing now. Um, let's try for this spot yeah, on the it's left. already highlighted. Right. We'll say yes. Okay. And I love how it shows you that imaginary positioning there. Right. So you can see that it has the car behind us. Or the next one. Or, or the next one. Let's choose. Let's choose. Yeah. Okay. Hold the brake. Start. Start. Please release steering wheel and brake. Okay. Done that. Now it'll tell you how far up ahead to go. You know, it's, it's going counting the yeah, enemy. Yeah, 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 how far ahead to go. And then you reach there and stop. And boom. This is a 79,000 dirham car that is parking itself. How can you not be thrilled with what the technology offers right now. Look at that. Look at that. It'll stop to adjust again. Right? Camera changes and updates to look ahead. Then changes to look behind. And the picture quality is so, so good. It's, it's so good. good. Look at that. It's so good. Incredible. Right? Super cool. It's so good. Parking successful. So that was that. That was awesome. That was pretty cool. Um, the car is for 79,000 of this one, the full ops version. There are three versions under it. I don't suggest those to anyone. Just get this version. Okay. But what do you think? I think, honestly, for that price point and the features it has, how it drives, right. everything, Pretty good. It would be high up on my uh, options list it's to go check so out. It's so good. It's yeah. so good. I I cannot believe how impressed I have been with this car. And more importantly, we've reviewed a bunch of MGs. And if you go back to our videos and see them, I've forgiven a lot in those cars because of the price. Yeah. Yeah. But with a car like this in existence, I don't see those. Those are those are not forgivable anymore. Mm. I just drove the MG RX5. Unfortunately, we didn't do a. Um, a, a long form video for yeah. it, but I forgave the fact that it had a very average feeling interior. I forgave the fact that it had atrocious cameras. I was like, oh, 89,000 car, no problem. Yeah. 
But this is 79,000. And it even has that 3D projected it car. Feel, like, it, it feels so futuristic. Like, I would put this car in the 120 range if I didn't know the price. Yeah. Easy. I mean, electronic, tailgate, um, great leather seats, you yeah. know, uh, perforations. Uh, just, just the feel of the car, the drive is great. Yeah, it's got a few things here and there. But I've fallen in love with the Geely. I have. So let us know in the comments what you guys think. Um, uh, would you trust a brand like this? Because to, to us in this side of the world, Geely is still very new. Uh, if you already have a Geely, what has your experience been? But let us know in the comments. And as always, support the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Sam. My Thank name you. is Danish. And we will see you at the next one.